good grief. Oh my god. Oh my god. Boot sandals? Are you serious? No! I swear, if you're bold enough to wear something like this outside where people can see you, your credit score ought to go down. I can't trust you with a loan if you think this is permissible, if you think this is even remotely okay. If it has tits or tires, I can make it squeal. Not with that hair. I doubt it, not with that haircut. But to be honest, I wish that was the worst thing about this entire picture. The worst thing is the gun holster. This man is so big that if he were to stand up, that thing's falling right out. No way is his gut shoving the gun out of its holster. Oh my god, I don't know what's worse. The fact that they stole this man's tires or the fact that they only stole this man's tires. This is just a firm reminder that not even thieves want a Dodge Ram. You're ever sitting next to someone on the plane and they spill their entire drink onto the carpet and their food onto the carpet, and instead of cleaning up like a regular human, they proceed to kick the ice under the chair along with the food. But the story doesn't stop there. OP goes on to mention that as a result of spilling this drink everywhere, this person's seat was completely soiled, like they couldn't sit there. So they just jumped into another seat right after shoving everything under the seat in front of them. And then he had the audacity to get mad at the original poster for taking a picture of this dude's mess. I seriously don't understand political tattoos, especially if they're tied to a particular president, because the president's only going to be, you know, running the nation for at least four years and at the maximum eight. But you're going to have that tattoo for the rest of your life. I hope you continue to agree with this person for as long as you're alive. And until this day, I thought I've seen every single political tattoo there is. But this one is new. This one takes the cake. And to be honest, what freaks me out more isn't really the image. It's the fact that I don't quite know where on the body this is. It looks like a hip, thigh, and stomach all at the same time. Jesus, I bet that room smells like feet and nightmares. Oh my God. I bet you could cut the air with a dull knife and hold it in your hands. It's, oh God, it's nothing but garbage skin flakes and bad decisions in there. Apparently the story is that someone was getting evicted. As per usual, somebody was not paying their rent and they just chose to trash the entire apartment. And I truly don't understand this way of getting back at your landlord because at the end of the day, you still have to live in filth. The landlord just has to call somebody to clean that up and it'll be gone in like a day. You have to live there for months. But yeah, I guess you won that fight. My baby daddy's new girlfriend's body though. We've been broke up for five years and I can't help but laugh at every downgrade after me. Oh my God, this woman is lame. Imagine making fun of your ex's girlfriends because you think you look better than them. Girl, you're single. You are lonely. And that's why this dude lives rent free in your head. That's why you have to make fun of all of his girlfriends because you want to be with him. And you're upset that women who supposedly look worse than you are dating your ex. Yeah, I bet that eats you up inside. This girl might be overweight. She might be curvy. She might look worse than you, but you know what she has that you don't? Your man. For safety reasons, standing on a parking slot to reserve is not allowed. Parking spaces are first come, first serve. That's a nice sign. Everybody understands that that's how parking lots work, but all of us have to remember one thing. Illiterate assholes will exist and they will behave as such. They will simply do what they want to do because these people lack the brain cells to comprehend rules. You should always stay away from women who walk like that. You know, they think they're all that, but then really not, okay? They're just trouble and not even the good kind. She grabs a buzz ball and then puts it in her bag. And I didn't see it the first time, okay? Because uh, I was busy with a lot of customers. Uh, and then I see her wa walk back to me and then she asks me, uh, do we have any Chardonnay in the back? Because I don't see any in there. And I'm pretty sure I saw earlier. So I watch her go back so I can uh, help her, you know, let her know which one it is. But then I see her grab another buzz ball and put it in her bag. I guess she just came back to see if I was still distracted, okay? And at this point, uh, she grabs another Chardonnay, which is right there, okay? And she's looking at the wrong camera. Bitch, that's not even the right camera, okay? And I'm thinking when she's going to come over to the register, I'm going to charge her. But she goes straight to the restroom. So I grab the key and I knock at the door and I tell her, you need to come out or I'm going to open this door, okay? Get your slimy self out of there and give me back my stuff but she threw it in the trash 
Thank you and don't come again. All right, everybody. I know we're having a great time at the Sand Dollar Lounge. I know the drinks are great. I know the music is phenomenal, but please, for the love of God, don't puke in the urinals. How does someone even do that? Urinals are so shallow and then they're covered in piss. So, ugh, it's just nasty. You're doubling down on the grossness. You're already throwing up and now your face is just in piss. Like, that's nasty. That's nasty. This sign isn't meant for the store. It's meant for you. Please don't puke in the urinals because we want you to have dignity. Straight from the Facebook group DoorDash Drivers with Attitude, I was delivering this and debating on taking it because the customer's directions were bad, but then I saw he only tipped $2. So I had my little puppy lick all of the cheeseburgers and he's slobbering on the pies. I neatly wrapped them up and was very polite on delivery. I will continue to say this, DoorDash tipping is absolutely a bribe to not have your food perverted by awful people. Because with DoorDash, you have to tip before you receive the food, which means it's not a tip. And the tip amounts are crazy. I'm talking nearly nine to $10 on top of your delivery fee, on top of taxes. It's ridiculous. Some people just can't afford all of that for a fast food delivery. Seriously, a McDonald's order that should be $10 just turned into $30 because I wanna make sure that my food arrives warm and not covered in dog spit. Colorado Library closes after troubling discovery of meth in air ducts. After a spike in reports of people smoking in the bathrooms, several employees got sick. It's Colorado. Everybody there loves meth. Everybody there is toothless because of meth. And do you blame them? These people live in the desert. There's nothing else to do other than catch heat stroke and die. So I get it. Meth helps pass the time out there. Beautiful morning. No parking. No parking. No parking. I guess this dude don't know how to fucking read. Let's do the deal. Got the tow truck ready to go. I don't know. You're being too nice going to the wheel. I would just go straight to the control arms. Uh, yeah, uh. You know what? Yeah, let's lock this thing off. All right, let's go. That's not working out too well. Damn, man. Why would you leave your car in the middle of the fucking road? Can't park there. All right, round two. Let's go, bitch. Oh, that's perfectly fucking fine. Good, because he won't get a ticket for being in the bike lane. Fuck him. All right, we're good to get to work, and uh, NYPD is on their way to give him a ticket. It's a little dirty, but in good condition. A little? A little dirty? I don't even know where the dining table starts. Where's the breakfast nook? And why are you selling this for $100? It should be free. It should be outside next to your garbage with a little label on it that says free. How dare you charge anybody? for this catastrophe. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Magnum Man. Oh my God, he's wearing a thong. I was two seconds away from going to the next post, didn't notice the fact that this man has the booty cheek underwear. I, I wish I didn't notice that, I, it's burned into my brain. Dude has a fully lay flat bed seat in business class and still decides to put his feet in the air. What is this man doing? I know he's not trying to change any settings above him. Is he trying to get somebody's attention with his foot? Oh my God. You guys, I just found, I just found a baby alone in this vehicle outside this mall right here. This baby is all the way alone. Car is on, baby is knocked out. I'm waiting for the police officers right now. I'm in Houston at the mall and I found a baby alone in the car. Y'all, come on. Babies get kidnapped, her car is on. Keys and everything in this thing. I could easily take her baby, take this whole car. Y'all gotta do better, man. I don't know what's weirder, the fact that Santa is on a cake naked or the fact that he's uncircumcised. I don't know what's stranger. You, you guys can pick in the comments, to be honest. Due to copper pipes being stolen overnight, bathrooms will be closed until tomorrow morning. Yeah, that sucks. I know you don't have a bathroom, but look, crackheads and methheads need to eat too. 
no thank you disrespectfully get away from me actually uh 100 stay out of my life uh no if you think that this is any way appropriate uh you are not the type of person i want to associate with to be honest you are low on the roster of people who i'd spit on you know i only spit on people who are respectable This is a new low for Goodwill, reselling used Starbucks cups. And why, you might be asking? Your guess is as good as mine. I don't even know where to start. I can't answer that question for you. Who is this for? I don't know. All we do know is that apparently Starbucks cups are worth nearly $3. So, I guess start collecting. This guy on the next street over from me who puts up signs trashing his next door neighbor, it's been going on for years and the signs change every few months. Hey jackass junkyard next door, smile, you're on camera. Hey lowlife, even your mother didn't want you in this guy. <laughs> Girlfriend wanted, single white Christian man, 68 with good career and a house on five acres in the country, seeking an attractive single Christian female, 20 to $50. No rent to pay. No rent of it. Uh oh. Not only does this man want a girlfriend, but I think he wants a live in concubine too. I love a woman like my advent calendar. Up against the wall, flaps open and ready to be eaten. <clears throat> Ew. That's just, that's just a visual. That's not even really. Did you think someone was gonna answer this? Like, be like, damn, I wanna be that woman. Who, who would do that? And our final post from the day comes from Facebook. Specifically, Okotoks Garage Buy and Sell. Bought this thinking it would work for me, but it didn't. Purchased in late 2021, can't remember the date. Been sitting in my drawer. Need it gone. Boiled and sanitized. <coughs> it's a diva cup. Oh god. Oh no. You don't you don't resell that. You don't resell that. I bet that shit smells like nickels. Please just throw it away. Are you seriously trying to recoup ten dollars? Stop! Just throw it away, it's done. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aylaris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you like the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. I got another week of channel favorites lined up for you. I wanted to start out strong with r slash trashy, so I hope to see you on Wednesday and Friday for even more entertaining content. And I wouldn't be able to do it without my Patreon supporters, so a big thank you to Star Madness, Ren Hex, Joner, Project Ghost, Mr. Bean, Clifford, James, Lucas Adams, Big Boy Bailey, Primavera, BMX30, Walinda, Ouija Baby, Cinnamon Sticks, Crush 40 Legacy Gamer, Scott, Rivka, The Fake Musician, Lightstar, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Faniker, Zach F, Darth Titan, Keeley, Dunder Has Hawk, Knobs, Lady Laps A Lot, Swiss Patreon user, Noah, and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one at my merch store and one to my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.